In this video, we're gonna be looking at how we can create schedules. Uh, in this case, we've got a door schedule and a window schedule, um, and all the information contained within those. We've also got a ground floor and a first floor plan, which shows where the doors and windows are in relation to the project itself. And this is the kind of sheet we're gonna be producing uh, in this video. So, onto a blank one. Uh, here we have our ground floor, and then here we have our upper floor. So back to our ground floor, the first thing we need to do is actually tag all the doors and windows. So they've give, been given a number. So to do that, we go into our annotate cat tab, and then we click on tag all. When we're in here, just check the door tags and the window tags. Click apply and okay, and you can now see that all the windows and doors have been uh, tagged. We'll do the same in level one. Tag all door tags, window tags, click apply, click OK, and we can now see that we've got them all numbered up how we want them. Next thing to do is to produce a schedule. So if we go into view and schedules, and it's the schedule quantities box at the top here, that's the one we want. And I'll create a door schedule to start off with. So we we'll just click on D for doors, and then that takes us down to the D's, and then double click on doors. When I'm in here, I need to select which um, elements I want to schedule itself. So I like to start off with um, the mark. Now the mark is the actual door number. So the numbers that we just tagged, uh, that, that's, that's what the mark is. So we can click on mark and then use the green add parameters box and that sends it across from this side into this side here. Next thing I like to have is the level and I could use the green uh, add parameters box, or I can just double click on it, whichever you prefer. And then I'm gonna go down to the W's for width, double click on that, back up to the H's for height. And I'm also gonna put in description, just to show you how you can add information to things. So description there. Once we're on here, we can also change the order in which they're gonna appear on our schedule. So just by whatever's highlighted blue will move when I use these up and down arrows here. That's the order that I want. Click OK. It's now created our door schedule, so we can see the mark is the door number. Um, you can see that we haven't got a door number two. That's because um, when I created the project, I actually deleted door number two, so it's no longer in the project itself. That's something you might want to consider when you're doing your doors and windows. If you're going to be producing schedules, you ideally don't want to be deleting things. Now in here, we've got a description. There's nothing in this box. Um, we could write stuff uh, into there. The way we can do that is if I go into level zero, find that door, this one here, go into edit type. Once it's highlighted, go into edit type and scroll all the way down to where it says description. And into description, I could write in there composite front door, for instance, or whatever information you want to put into there. Uh, click apply and OK, and then it will appear in our schedule. You can see it there. Um, if things don't quite fit, don't worry about that just yet. We, we will uh, highlight this when we actually create our, our sheet. So um, whilst I'm here, I'm also going to uh, produce the window schedule as well. So into view, into schedules, this time W, takes me down to the W's, into windows. And for some reason, it's not done that. So go back into schedules, schedules. Down to W, Windows, OK, that's better. And I'm going to have the exact same thing again. So I'm going to go into Mark, uh, go down to uh, Level, Width, Height. There it is. And Description. And click OK. And again, same thing in here. So if I went in to try and find um, uh, some of these these, door, these windows, for instance, because there's nothing in the description box, I could use the same uh, procedure that I did for the doors to actually go in there and do those. Now, the next thing I want to produce uh, is going to be um, uh, a new sheet. So if I go into Sheets, uh, whilst I'm in the View box going to Sheets, um, I actually want an A3. So I'm going to go into A3s, click OK. Then once I'm into here, I can now start dragging stuff across uh, like we would normally for a sheet. So when I come down to here, I've got our schedules, open those up. I've got my door schedule. I can just drag this in, uh, check it down. Now it's quite um, 
tall or too tall for what I want. I want to be able to fit one underneath this one. So we can see here we've got these uh, little control tabs here. So I can actually drag this out, uh, possibly move this one in a little bit. You see, you can change the sizes of things. Like I was saying before, if, if things don't quite fit, um, you can make them fit. Uh, and then I, now I can actually move the whole thing around to sit where I want to on the sheet. Uh, once I've done that, I'm going to do the same for the window schedule. Drag this one across, drag it into there, and then what I might do is just drag that back and then pull this one out just so it looks a similar kind of size, just, just to neaten it up a little bit. And then uh, the last thing I need to do is to actually get the uh, floor plans across. So I'm going to bring um, my level zero and my level one across. And again, you can uh, line things up so you can see we've got these blue dotted lines that will line things up. Um, for anyone that knows me, no, I don't like the uh, these um, view view titles, um, so I'm just going to get rid of those just by going to the uh, Visibility Graphics Overrides, which is VV on the shortcut on the keyboard, into Annotation, down to V, down to View Titles, uncheck that, click Apply, and OK. Um, if you want to add your own, you can use the Annotate text boxes. So we can go into Annotate, go into the text box, into here, and we could right ground floor, and then click close up here. And don't forget, once you've got this um, completed, you can move it around just by grabbing the um, just by grabbing the uh, the arrows on on the side there. And we can also change the size of it. So if we wanted it slightly bigger, for instance, at five mil, we can make it slightly bigger, and then you can repeat that for the for the first floor down the bottom there, fill in our information down the bottom right hand corner, and then we end up with our, our, our schedule on our sheet.